Hey guys, it's JT Tran and I am in London and today I have a special guest, Johnny Berba, dating and life coach out here. So thank you so much for coming. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having me, mate. Cool. So Johnny likes to teach guys to live their life with authenticity and without fear. Is that right? <clears throat> well, that's the idea, yeah. To yeah. Help, help guys to manage fear through the practice of honesty and integrity. So I don't think you can take fear away from people fully, but you can mm -hmm. teach them how to manage it. And uh, so that's what I do. Cool. Now, how do you teach guys how to manage their fear? I mean, everybody has approach anxiety. Like, mm -hmm. even I have approach anxiety. Yep. But the difference is, like, nowadays, it's like walking through a paper as opposed to when I was younger, when it was just, like, almost debilitating. Like, how do you teach your clients how to get over the, their approach anxiety? Well, basically, like you said, by exposing them to the feelings, mm -hmm. taking them into the feelings of fear, sitting them in the feelings of fear, and getting them to practice raw honesty. Raw honesty. Now, raw how honesty. do you... <laughs> That sounds pretty <laughs> scary, right? It is. It is. Yeah. It's very uncomfortable to start with, but the, the results and the growth is massive, and it's so worth it. Okay, so how do you how do you go about teaching someone raw honesty? Showing them. There's two ways I do it. One is the mindset. So okay. I have a form of counselling them, talking to them. The second one is the practical movement. So when we combine both together, the psychology with the practical movement, we can change our perception of who we are and the situation that we're going into, especially when we correct uh, collect sorry positive reference experience. Right, and right. negative as well to get you know to build your character. Right, I think that's a lot of guys where they're coming in. They don't really have a lot of life experience, so they have nothing to compare it to, or what they have to compare it to is, is it's not enough. They think that oh, because this one time one girl rejected him, that's what every girl is going to do. Yeah, yeah, it's what it's what you said. It's all about helping people to change their story. I'm too short, I'm too bald, I'm from this background, mm -hmm. I'm, girls don't like me, because that's how I used to feel. I thought right. I was unattractive, I thought no one likes me, I, I was afraid of intimacy, I was afraid of getting sexual with a girl, so I mm -hmm. had to change that story through experience. You can't read it in a book. <laughs> no. Products mm -hmm. are great, they can inspire people, but they need to take action, of course. Yeah. And then when you take action, you can kind of go back to the theory and then read stuff and get inspired, but we need, you know, we need... Practical experience. Yeah. Yeah. Real world experience is, there's no substitute for it at all. Yeah. So why don't you tell the audience, um, you're talking about like the, the frame of reference and then the practical movements. What kind of advice or something that our audience can use that you can give them? If you're in a situation and you're frightened, use that as your material. So okay. if you're on the street or in a bar and you want to speak to a group of girls and you're nervous, go over and say, excuse me. I'm very nervous, but I want to come over and say hello. I think you're all very attractive. You're honestly. acknowledging and embracing that absolutely, fear. Absolutely, absolutely. The okay. raw okay. honesty in the moment is very powerful because it's always the energy that's felt. It's never the words. Mm. But if the words are not coming from a place of truth and honesty, they're, they're, there's no substance in them. You're just saying stuff and hoping people like you and hoping it works. Right, right. So it's a very difficult practice, but it's one that once you get started with it, it becomes very exciting and the results are instant. Because you see it happen. Yeah, I mean, I really appreciate that because I know that one thing that I learned when I was trying to navigate like social circles was going to a party, mm. and I'd be scared because it's not something that I'm used to. Yeah, me too. I'm still scared. If yeah. I go to a party and I meet new people, I'm nervous before I go in. I'm a human being. Mm -hmm. But after 10, 15 minutes of conversation, getting relaxed, you feel good. Right. So I want the guys to know that I'm nervous too. And yeah. I've been doing this for 11 years, you know. Well, one, one trick that I learned going into a new social circle situation or party and I'm feeling nervous is finding the second most nervous person <laughs> <laughs> and going up, yeah, going up to that person, him or yeah. her, and say, hey, are you as nervous as I am? Yeah, Hi, yeah, my yeah. name is JT. That's, that's a like you say, like acknowledging yeah. and embracing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's a really nice opener. That's mm. very warm. And I love that. The vulnerability, a lot of men think being alpha is always being strong, but being alpha, in my opinion, is being vulnerable and open. Right. And women love that. Because it requires strength. You can't go to like a bar, a club, it's all like, oh, I'm alpha all the time, right? Yeah, you have it to gets embrace tiring. it. Yeah. It gets it, tiring. It becomes all about bravado. Yeah, right? yeah. I was doing it for years. I was faking it, not being myself, and started to feel like I was a bully. And when I stopped all that, I got much better results, and I felt good about myself in all areas of my social life, okay. not just with picking up women and going to bars. This was everywhere. Great, great. And I think that 
guys who get into pickup, we fall into that trap. I mean, there is that idea of faking it till you make it. Yep. But what happens is some guys, they never make it. Then they continue to fake it. And at yeah. a certain point, you have to transition. You know, you have to live that life and that mentality of whether it's that guy who's successful with girls or just that really social guy, the comedy guy. Like, the idea is to make it eventually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got an interesting take on what you said. I don't believe in fake it till you make it. Okay. I believe in practice till you make it. If we practice, practice with yeah. the right ethics, we will grow internally and externally. If we're faking it, I could trick a woman into bed and trick everyone and get a result. Mm -hmm. But inside, I've got to live with myself being a liar. Mm -hmm. And I used to be a liar. I'm no longer. That was because I was under the pressure of being somebody. So I really think it's about working on your inner self as well as your outer self. Cool. That's something that I also take, we, we call holistic. Um, mm. And the idea is not in the hippie sense, right? But the well rounded sense where I teach my students like inner game, outer game, and verbal game. Mm -hmm. Because when a student comes to me, I don't know where he's at. Especially if I have like an Asian student that, you know, he might have been raised with a lot of racist beliefs because of the media and society that says, like me growing up, I'm, you know, being Asian is like, oh, Asians aren't attractive. So I have to change my mentality. Mm -hmm. But also, like, I have students that can barely speak English, so you have to give them that. So I like, appreciate the fact that you're giving them that inside out transformation beyond just teaching them words like some people do. Yes, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Connecting with people on, on, on a spiritual level, mm -hmm. not just on a, you know, a psychological level. Cool. And now another thing that you said that interested me was the practical movements. Mm -hmm. So there's that mental frame of reference. Now, what are the, the physical movements that you're talking about? Well, it's so simple. It's insulting. The first okay. basis of my teaching is to walk up to someone and tell them something that you like about them. Okay. So it's literally just, hi, nice to meet you. I like this about you. No, right. like we, pinpoint we, their fashion, their energy or something. It's got to be honest. There's no mm. point saying to a girl, I love your fashion, but you don't like her fashion. Mm -hmm. If you want to go out of her, then just tell her that. And that movement, that expression, whether you get the result or not, that grows you. That is the result. Then when you're in the habit of practicing that integrity, you will attract and get those results. Yeah, I know some guys, like you're saying, is they hide their intention. They, they hide their feeling, mm -hmm. especially with my Asian clientele, because we're not taught to express ourselves romantically. So the idea of going up to a girl and like, telling them you, you like them is scary for some guys. But I can imagine. I definitely think that direct is like everybody needs to learn direct style and b tapping into your own honesty and, and power as a man because if you're always sort of like hiding then you never as you you know we're talking about like you're never going to make it to where you want to be and to be with that person that you are meant to be exactly exactly yeah okay so any last words of advice for our audience i just want to say to the guys that i came from a place of low self-esteem um, feeling that I wasn't good enough, wasn't attractive enough, mm. a thousand and one limiting beliefs about my social class, and, and none of it's true, but you have to change your story by changing you. Ah. So we're gonna, what Gandhi said, be the change that you wanna see in the world. And Very. don't blame out, it's his fault, it's her fault, the guy at school bullied me, because even though it's wrong what they did, it's always down to you to yeah. take responsibility. Absolutely. So be the change. Yeah, the only thing that you are 100% in control over is what you do. You can't control yeah. women, you can't control other people, you can only control what you do. All right, Johnny, um, how can our audience find more about you? Well, the first place is my website, www.johnnyberber.com, and then all my free videos, uh, just YouTube me and they'll find my stuff. Yeah. We'll put all of his information down in the YouTube description. All right, check it out, guys. Um, stay tuned for the next video, and thanks so much, Johnny. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate it. Hey there. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news, too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right. We've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back for that every Monday. Oh, and if that's not enough for you, remember that for the last 10 years, the ABCs of Attraction have been the finishing school for Asian gentlemen. So we've been teaching guys how to be better boyfriends, more confident, and better husbands. If you need that extra push, you can enroll in one of our classes. But until then, we'll see you every Monday. Bye.